Welcome to WP Symposium Pro Tutorial on installing the extensions plugin for all of the extra features. Um, so I'm on the WP Symposium Pro website here and on my account page. I've already purchased the WP as Pro Ultimate license. Uh, just to show you how I did that, under the extensions licenses I chose Ultimate, which gives me everything now, everything in the future and all updates for life. Um, I'm going to sign up. It's added to my cart. I view the cart, and there it is in my cart, which is a sign up fee and then one dollar a month for help desk access, which I can cancel if I decide I don't want it. Okay, so that's uh, I'll go ahead and buy that. When I have bought that in my account page under available downloads will be WSP WS Pro Ultimate zip file, which I click on and download. So having downloaded it, I go to our website and under dashboards I can add the new plugin. So under plugins I can click on add new um, and this will allow me to upload the zip file which I downloaded from the my account page on wpssymposiumpro.com. So I choose the file, choose the zip file and click on install now which will upload the zip file install the plugin and prompt me to activate it. Once activated it then appears on my plugins page as WP Symposium Pro extensions and if I go to WPS Pro setup I can then choose which of the extensions I want to activate on my site. So under extensions here currently I've got them all ticked. For demonstration purposes I'll uncheck them all which will deactivate all of the extension features. And as the plugins updated and new extensions are available, they will be automatically added to this list for you to activate. You don't need to download anything else from WPSymposiumPro.com. So nothing was activated at all, and just if we put, uh, go and look at our profile page, we can see it's just the core plugin with a clear text field for adding an activity post. And we're going to activate the, the Who To extension, which allows me to select friends to share activity with or groups if I have groups activated as well. So I'm going to go down and under activity I'm going to click on the, the allow selection of who to send activity to. Click and save. That's now activated and I go back to my profile page and with that extension activated on my profile page above the activity post I can now see I can select who I want to share my activity with. So you can choose which of the features you do and you don't want active on your website. And as I say all new extensions will automatically appear on this list as you update the single extensions plugin via your WordPress dashboard. Okay, thank you very much.